Melissa Papa. I'm here with this week's Angel Messages. So our messages this week feel like they're about listening, about being aware, about your sensitivity maybe, but certainly an awareness to what's going on for you as a soul. So place one or both of your hands over your heart just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two or three. A message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is move your cursor along in the video until you get to a place where you intuitively feel it's time to stop. Right there is an extra message for you from your angels. All right, you ready? So we are using these beautiful cards. Let's see which one is for you, number one. It feels like it's this one. Ooh, make a decision. So you see that there's that beautiful angelic presence there that is opening up and there's the lunar energy, there's the new moon, and there's just so much that's going on in this card. And it's almost as if this being is holding the energy of two ideas, two thoughts, two decisions, and it's in their energy field. It's like they're trying to decide which one is the right one. But what's interesting is one of them is kind of lower down, the other one is higher up with the heart. And I felt when I looked at this card that it was very much about when it's making a decision, when it comes to making a decision for you, that it needs to come from your place of heart. If it's not in your heart, if this is not something that your heart is going, yippee, yes, I want to do that. If your heart isn't doing that, then it probably means a big fat no. This is not the right thing for you. So if it's that you have two things to decide from and neither of them are connecting with your heart, then there's something else. There's something else out there for you. When I look at this card as well, there is, it's like the whole of the angel, the whole of the energy has taken over one side of her body. So I, to me, this is almost a clue for you to notice how your body feels, because that's what we do in intuition, with intuition, with our feelings, with our thoughts, with our ideas, with our decision making, because you're essentially using not just your logic, but you're using your intuition as well. So how does it feel? What does it feel like? A decision that you have to make at this moment? What decision is that? And how does it feel for you? All right. Number two, let's see what you have. Number two, got these the right way around. <laughs> Number two is intuition. So we'll look at that intuition card. You see that the the head, the mind is just so active, there's so much going on, and yet it's completely at peace. So it's not busy, 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 it's just completely at peace. And that's what happens with your intuition. When your intuition is guiding you, you have this sense of peace. You have this sense of purpose. You have this sense that you're on purpose and that you're on track. So this is saying, listen to your intuition. Now what's interesting to me is that there are a lot of what looks like flowers in here and butterflies. And I feel as if the message is that as you grow, as you open up, you'll notice more transformation coming in. And you'll notice that that transformation is a natural part of your life, of your being. As you grow, as you open up, you're planting the seeds right now. Those seeds will grow as you allow them to grow, so you allow more change to come in, more transformation to come in. And that's the message from the butterflies. It's about transformation. I see within here, there's almost a sense of letting some part of your life move out. And it's like the busy part of your life, that busyness. It's all the stuff that's in the life. And you're just moving away from that, moving into a place of a sense of peace, a sense of achievement as well that's coming with this. And I feel that you're being asked to be guided by your intuition, just to allow your intuition more time, more space in your life. And that's really what it's about, isn't it? Creating the space for that connection, because that's who you truly are, your soul, your spirit your higher self, your connection to the divine. 
Your connection to the earth is in service. Your connection to the divine is your true self. Little channeled message there for you. Now the third one, third card, love matters. So when I looked at this card, you see it almost looks like there's an owl at the top and then there's another bird and there's a sense of movement. But you see all the blue that's there and the brown, there's this feeling of the earth and the sky. So when I see this, I see this connection, connection to movement, connection to the earth, connection to connection to family as well. I see that in the trees and I, I feel as if when it says love matters, it's saying love matters and the love matters is about connection. It's about connection to what matters to you, connection to loved ones, connection to loved ones in spirit, connection to loved ones on the earth plane, connection to loved ones who don't even realize that they're loved ones, the birds, the animals, the earth, the sky. It's that sense of bringing love into your life. And I feel as if when I look at this card, see she's all brown here and she's connecting to this white and there's life inside of there. It's almost like she's looking for that life to come in. So I feel that for you, it's saying that love is all around you. You just have to reach out and it's right there. And it can come to you in different forms, in different ways. And it's not necessarily through a particular person or through a particular experience or event. It could just be that connection of reaching out, that, that energy of reaching out. And as soon as you reach out, it's like the vibration comes in to reach you, to connect to you. It's like two energies coming together. And I feel that's what this is right here, is this opening up. As you reach out and touch another, so something surprising opens up for you. And I feel that's where that love is. And you need to know that love matters and matter is about bringing it in to your physical life, bringing it into the here and now, that energy of love, because that's who you are. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. Now, I do have a wonderful guiding angel meditation that I would love to share with you. It's my gift from my heart to yours. It's only four minutes, 44 seconds long. It will help you to connect with the angel that is guiding you at this moment through your life. And I know you're gonna to want to connect with that angel. So you'll see a link in the description. I do, of course, offer intuitive guidance sessions and spiritual mentoring. So take a look at my website, sealwithlove.com. Check out the soul support section. You can see lots of things there that I do, including my membership. So to connect with me on a deeper level, if you're not able to do the guidance or the mentoring, then that is the perfect way to connect with me and be guided by me. I have lots of experience and information and knowledge to share with you. I would love to help you within my inner circle. So the inner circle isn't open at the moment, but it will be very soon. So make sure that you get on the wait list so you're the first to know as soon as enrollment starts. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. <laughs> Bye for now.